Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. Now when I tell you this week's vlog is going to be so exciting. I mean exciting. Now I hope I don't let myself down by telling you guys it's going to be exciting and it's not. But in my head it's going to be exciting. Will I remember to film it will be another question. I'm having a little bit of my brother's birthday cake for breakfast with a cup of coffee. Because I think I need some sugar. Um, although I am hyper enough. Basically, I I bought myself a car. I've bought myself my first car. So I bought a little Fiat 500. Um, it's in the like color tech house grey. It's a lounge version. I was very fussy. Um, I wanted like the cream white interior. I wanted the sunroof. I was very fussy. So. That's coming this morning. I've actually bought it from Kazoo. So they are delivering it this morning. They've been in contact with me yesterday. They phoned me to make sure everything was still okay and to explain what was going to happen. So basically all that happens is they're going to call me like 10 minutes before my like time slot and they're going to make sure that everything is still okay. And they'll bring the car up and then it'll just be like how you normally are at a garage where they'll show you the car um, they'll go round it all, they will take a picture with me with the car just as proof that they have delivered it as well as signing things and getting proof of identity and that kind of stuff so I'm having a little bit of cake because why not um, I'm ready, I just need to do my hair I actually just left my eyebrows yesterday and didn't bother wiping them off and I think it'd be fine so I'm gonna leave it like that. I've got such a tan in my face from being on holiday so I don't need to put on any makeup and yeah I'm so excited. Okay so it's now a good bit later. Um, I'm currently in the car. It is half past three and it got delivered at half eight so it's been a good while. I've had a runabout in it. I went down to show my grand granda um, the car because I'm so excited. Obviously it's my first car I've been sharing with my mum for the last two and a half years so it's definitely a big achievement. But I thought I would just kind of go over how I'm feeling about the car so far. The lighting is not the best to be honest. I don't even know if shutting this is going to make much of a difference. If not it's going to make it worse. Um, I was literally filming, had the perfect lighting and then someone drove by and that's not happening. Like I don't have the confidence so how I'm feeling about the car so far is it is really really nice um, I would say that it's very very light and I'm not used to that <laughs> um, my mum's car isn't like heavy to drive or anything I don't know what it is it's just a very light car to drive so I don't feel like I've got I don't know like I don't know how to describe it I don't know if you get what I'm meaning then obviously you get what I mean if you don't then. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, just getting used to how it's driving. I don't even have city steering on. I've played about with that, but obviously I don't want to like move my tires on the dry roads. Like I want to physically move them because otherwise I'll just waste the tires. So I will definitely have a little shot at that, but I don't think it's gonna be something that I'm using too much. It's not something that I'm gonna overly benefit from. Um because I don't think I'm in situations like that however the car park at my work is a complete different story so it could be used for that <laughs> i just need to see it's definitely got a lot of gadgets my mum's car doesn't really have that it's quite basic so when i came into this car and it's got like rear parking sensors and it's got a little screen that my phone can connect um and things like that it's definitely a lot more gadgety but i do like it so i thought as i said i would just give you a little bit of a tour i don't know completely everything um i got the fiat 500 lounge edition it is a 2018 plate so if there's anything that i miss or anything that i'm unsure about and you guys know then please let me know down below because I am completely new to this. So when I was looking to buy my first car, I was looking at a Fiat Puno because my mum had that as her first car and I thought it'd be quite a nice little memory thing, but I couldn't really get one um, like hers because her style um, got stopped, I think stopped making it back in 
well, I say like 2012 or something, so it would have been a really, really old car. It would have been something that I'd probably only been able to keep for like a year, if that. So I decided to go with a Fiat 500 because I think they're absolute stunning. I will be honest, when I seen the guy pull up at my house and it was on the back of his van, like lorry thing, I was like, oh my God, that is my car, that is mine, that is my little baby. I can't believe this. So yeah, I was so excited. I'm still so excited. It's still so surreal. Like I'm in the house and I just keep looking out and I'm like, who's actually dangling a carrot in front of my nose and putting the car I want right there and then I'm like oh it's mine like do you know what I mean so yeah so excited so happy and it is white interior it is tech house grey that you'll see in a lot of seconds it has got the sunroof which I've just closed over just now because it's really really warm and the way I've parked the car the sun is like literally on top so I'm trying to cool down a bit okay so also I bought a little stand to put on the dash one, it's not sticking. Two, I thought I'll just sit it there, but it's too big. Like the camera with the bit flipped up, it's too big for it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for, but I'll definitely try and use it. But it's a bit annoying that that is not working. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of show you guys. If you didn't know, I got this car from Kazoo. So they very kindly gave me a little goodie bag, which obviously will come with every car. So it's kind of like this green like off green color um i've got all my not my receipt but like a paper copy of my contract and stuff and there and then they gave a little dashboard sponge a little air freshener an umbrella which i thought was quite cute um i did actually go and buy an umbrella but i'll probably just give that other one to my mum and i'll take the kazoo one and then a water bottle um this is like a metal one which I thought was really cool like a flask type one obviously it's all branded kazoo but everyone's gonna find that anyway and a little scraper which will be perfect for the end of the year when we have our snow and our ice and I'm not looking forward to that at all but I hate that time of the year um, with the car I like Christmas I just don't like I was very fortunate that the car actually came with V8500 um, car mats. So if you don't know about a V8500, I don't know if it's like all Fiat's, but I know the 500 is like that. Um, basically the car mats clip in. So, which is really good so they're not going to move when you're driving. Um, so I obviously really, really wanted them. I was just about to order them and then I was like, I need to see what mats this car comes with to see if I can just kind of even use them more whatever but when the guy dropped the car off and he opened the door and I looked in and I was like <gasps> my car mats like the mats I want so save myself 70 quid um getting those and I'm coming with the car but also save myself 70 quid being patient so I have a little basket in the back that I have filled up with things um, I'm just kind of slowly filtering out into the car it's got things like tissues wipes that kind of thing um lip balm Body mess and stuff, so I'm just kind of filtering it out, finding places for it. Um, please let me know about any hidden compartments. I don't think this one has like too many. I know the seat doesn't come up, it's got that little compartment down there that's like a change compartment, but I don't think it's got too many compartments that are like hidden. Um, but definitely let me know about any hidden compartments, and I'll see if this one has it because I'm all for a hidden compartment. Okay, so in the, the front, I'm just gonna need to pick my camera up because it's absolutely roasting. Um, this is obviously my wheel and then I have all of my little bits and bobs down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's so bright. I'm gonna do a full video um, in a little bit kind of showing you guys everything just once I've let everything settle in and um, I've got used to the car a little bit more and I've popped everything in its place I will definitely do a full car tour but this is obviously just the wheel where I'm sitting and then I have all of these little gadgets this is like obviously aircon and heating and things like that then I have my say mode hazards and then also fog lights the window things are also there, the window buttons to move them up and down, which is very different. And the gear stick doesn't bother me because my mum's gear stick is actually quite high up anyway. So that's not really an issue. 
and then I also have the little screen where I've just connected my phone and also this little Yosh thing so I spoke about this on a TikTok where it just magnets but it's just magnetic and sticks to your phone. Then I just have the little glove compartment. I've just got some TMI, but normal bits in there. Little compartment down there, I've got wipes. There, I've just got some chewing gum and hand sanitizer and also a body mask. through the back, I've just got my little bunny, my little basket that needs it filtering out. And down here, I've just got my little umbrella. So that's just a brief little tour. As I said, I've also got a little sunroof which will open and close like that. But I'm absolutely sweating. I'm going to go and get my dinner. I'm having some pizza and some wedges with garlic bread and coleslaw. And I will speak to you guys in a little bit. Um, not too sure what I'm doing tonight, but I do have a lot more coming up this week um, and I'm so excited to show y'all. Okay so it's actually the next game day, I completely apologise. Basically, which you will see in this Sunday's vlog, I went to my grands and stuff yesterday, um, obviously with it being my little brother's birthday, so I never actually got the chance to finish editing the video. It was literally all edited, I just needed to, needed to edit the Blue Drum and Safari Park bit, but you know, um, I ended up going to my grand's and doing obviously the cake and that kind of thing. So I was spending a little bit of, excuse me, I was spending a little bit of time with my family. Um, so I do really apologise, but I'm hopefully going to get up tonight, Monday or Tuesday, either one. But I'm going to quickly show you guys what's in the Glossy Box summer bag because I did say I was going to show you and I haven't showed you. Okay, so this is the bag here. I really wish I had this bag for going on holiday there. It's got this like cute little strap type thing and it opens up really, really wide. It's got little Velcro straps at the side so you can take your makeup, your skincare, and it kind of opens up into like a little tray type thing which is really, really good, especially for traveling where you kind of want to keep everything in the one place. It's also got a little zip here which is really nice for you to store more things. But this is full of amazing products. So the first thing we've got is this little Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Hydrate and Primer. This is just obviously like a little sample size, but do you know what? The size of that will give you like how many shots. Like you will know if you like this product or not by the time you finish that, even halfway through. So it's still Obviously it's a sample size, but still a really good size for you to try. Next up we have this Pro White Teeth Whitening Pen. So I've never actually heard of this brand before, but it looks really interesting. I have looked at pens in the past. Don't really understand how they work, but I am excited kind of to give it a little try. I'm intrigued by it. Obviously I've done a teeth whitening testing previously from a different brand and that was really good so I'm interested to try this then one. Then we have this Hawaiian Tropic Golden Paradise Fragrance Mist Summer Edition. It's warm sand and creamy coconut and when I tell you it smells amazing, it smells amazing. It's got a gorgeous like glittery like glitter in it so when you spray it you do end up all shiny which is really nice and perfect for someone. Now this product smells absolutely amazing it's an exfoliate and body polish which is sandalwood and turmeric in it and honestly I didn't even need to open the box to smell it but I'm gonna open the box just now to kind of see what the packaging and stuff is like and show you guys but honestly the full bag smells of it so if you do get this box or if you have got it or like bag sorry um, and you wonder what the smell is, it is this, it's absolutely stunning um, and perfect for this time of the year when I showed my mum it, like the bag, she was like what's that smell? it smells so good so this is the product here it's a really nice sized tub perfect for taking away but also perfect for just using in your house I'm not sure it's got a little seal on it but you can kind of see on the bottom what it's like it looks nice and exfoliating but also looks really nourishing so that will be really interesting to try that and I honestly I hope this ain't last because it smells amazing we then have this revolution Hydra Balm lip gloss with hyaluronic acid. I think it's like a plumping one. It's in the shade hybrid, so it's this stunning colour, perfect for like going out at night just to kind of warm up your makeup if you're going on way or perfect even for during the day because if it is a plumping gloss then you can keep applying it and you'll keep yourself like topped up. Then we have this girl of now lovely Ellie Sab perfume sample 
I like a perfume sample to be fair because it gives you enough just to kind of test it and try it and put it on your clothes and see if it lasts, that kind of thing. So I do like them and I'm quite interested to try it because honestly the bottle's stunning and if this smells amazing, just like as good the bottle looks, then I'm definitely going to buy this. I then have this little nail polish, it's just in the red shade. It's actually quite a stunning red. I think it's by, is it Manicurist Paris? But it's such a stunning red, like such a summer red, not a winter red, a summer red. So that would be really nice to put on my nails. Of course we have some SPF, so this is the Lancaster Sun Beauty 30 SPF and it is water resistant. So again a nice size just to see if we actually like it or not and good for travel. Okay. Kind of like basic but one of the most exciting products that I was excited for <laughs> was the Bondi Sands Lip Balm. It's got SPF 50 plus and it is coconut. Now I have looked at Bondi Sands lip balms in the past and honestly they get so many good reviews on them. I don't know why I've never got them before. I don't know if it's like more the price. I'm not saying that they're expensive. Let's see because we've got a little card here that will tell you the RRP of everything. They're £5 so I don't know why I've never got one before but yeah definitely going to go in the handbag because now that we are getting into summer the UV rays are like getting a lot stronger. I mean my face is like completely natural tanned from being on holiday and I was literally up to off Scotland where it rained most of the week. This was just in the last day. So, so definitely wish I had that when I was on holiday but definitely going to go in the hand. So we also have this Glam Glow Bright Mud Mask. Again a nice little size just to see if we like it. This iconic London mascara. This is the Triple Threat Mascara. I've actually heard so many good things about this mascara so I'm quite excited to try all my false eyelashes have came off i'm just got stick on ones so i'm definitely gonna give this a little try and i will tell you guys what i think and then we have this frank body hair mask so again when i seen this was in this bag i was so excited because frank body is such an amazing company i don't know why i said such really weird there like their body scrubs are so good it's going to have a seal on it you can smell it through it it smells really really nice um and yeah can't go wrong with a hair mask i love a good hair mask just to kind of help nourish your hair a little bit more i should really do more hair masks than i normally do i do one like once every six months like i'm really bad with them so this is a really big tube and hopefully like maybe it'll disperse quite like like you won't need a lot i mean i have really long hair they're saying recommend at least three times a week or used three times a week recommended but yeah we just kind of need to see how it is hair masks are like face masks they not don't work for everyone uh, just finding one that works for you so yeah that's everything that is in this summer bag again as i said this little bag here it's really really nice and i wish i had it when i was going on holiday but i did come back to it so i suppose has went on holiday a little bit later than I would have had it but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another video Friday for another video Fake Time Fridays is coming soon and Sunday for another vlog. Bye!